What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here to bring us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this gameplay because I managed to go 21 kills and zero deaths. Now, a little bit of an update about this gameplay I will only be showing you guys the first half. The reason why is because in the second half, I ended up with a record of 37 kills and 10 deaths. So, I will only be showing you guys the first half because, um, well, I ended up going 21 and 0, and that's the longest kill streak I ever had. Well, actually, it's the second because the first one I believe is like 28 kills or so. And um, I hope I can find that gameplay so I can show it to you guys and see how I beasted it up with the VMP. So, another thing about you know, the VMP, a little bit of an update I just added a new attachment, and that weapon is now extra stealthy and a lot better from close range. It's just a total havoc machine. I will be showing you guys the best class setup of the VMP on Thursday. So, do not forget to subscribe because that weapon is going to help you guys out. When you're playing in small maps and also when you want to flank the enemy and pretty much stealth it up out there you know without being caught you don't want to be caught out there in the map use my best class setup for the vmp this thursday it's going to help you guys out with your kd and wins so anyways moving, on, moving back to the main topic which is about you know the vesper sorry for getting sidetracked the vesper it's still a great weapon from close range it's just a close range beast because um let me tell you guys something that this weapon has that the other SMGs doesn't have. This weapon, if the enemy shoots you first, you actually have like a 90% chance to kill the enemy back. Like they shoot you first, like maybe like you get like around two shots on you and you're there like right in front of you. Like they're like around 10 feet away from you. If you start shooting right after you get the you get shot first, you actually have like around an 80% chance on taking out the enemy. Which is crazy because the other weapons, you know, pretty much have slower rapid fire, even though they have like super high damage, you don't have chance with those weapons. But with the Vesper, you do have that chance. And that's something that the beta, you know, pretty much taught me because I used the Vesper. I made like a montage on it. I made like a lot of gameplays. Uh, most of my gameplays from the beta were from the Vesper. And you can tell that the Vesper is just a total close range machine and it, I can just take out the enemies even after being shot. So um, from the beta to now, the only thing that changed was the damage. I believe it got a little bit weaker. I know in the patch notes it would not tell you guys that the Vesper got updated or anything, but believe me, I used the Vesper like for the whole beta and I compare the Vesper to now, it changed on damage because now I'm like having like one third of my mag filled up that's it like most of the time i'm rolling with like one third of my mag because every time i kill like two enemies or one enemy i ended up with like around 10 bullets or 12 like that's kind of fucking bad so um that's one of the biggest things i noticed is it's just the damage that actually just went down um also the range is just horrendous on this weapon do not shoot from long range from the vesper that so those are the only two things that are bad for the vesper but when it comes down to close range tight corridors uh close range battles uh nuke town and small maps and everything you know this weapon is just a total beast and by the way in the gameplay the reason why i have the um you know an assault rifle is because my vesper ended up with no bullets so i need to get scavenger later on so once i unlock that perk i'll pretty much install it and tell you guys if it's good or not um, so yeah, guys, that's it. You know, that's all I want to talk about the Vesper. It is a total beast from close range. I'll probably make like a best class setup next week, maybe, or maybe like in the following week, because this week I'm only concentrating on the VMP and I'm telling you, it is doing super good right now. I'm giving that weapon an A minus because not every single weapon is perfect, but you know, this weapon is just an A minus on close range and also on stealth. So uh, that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay and also more Black Ops 3 tips and strategies and everything, make sure you subscribe for more because there's more stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.